Good morning, wonderful people. I don't have the mic on today, so hopefully you don't hear my heater too much. Uh, this is going to be a quick one because I only got six minutes until I have to be working. Um, but if you see over there, you'll see a bookshelf full of books. Okay? There's got to be at least a hundred books on that thing. And I only paid full price for maybe 20 of those books. The rest came from Goodwill. Uh, most of them cost about a dollar, but every once in a while at thrift stores, you'll get like 10 for a dollar or, you know, two for a dollar or something like that. And they have a lot of good ones. Uh, especially if you're into like self-help and business and that kind of stuff because people tend to buy those books and then never read them and they eventually make their way to Goodwill um, but it got I, I just love going to Goodwill and stacking like 20 books and bringing them home you know what what you saw on that shelf is only like a half or maybe a third of what I have and uh, you might be wondering well why do you have so many books surely you don't read all of those well, that's true. I've probably only read about 40% of those. Um, and then maybe 30 or even 25% I've read all the way through. Um, but most of those I've at least skimmed through. I've read parts of them, chapters. Um, I just, I've read enough books that I can skim through and kind of pick out the parts that are interesting to me. Um, and just to take you back a little further, um, about four years ago, I really got into reading, into self-help, into business, into reading books and trying to better myself. And I must have read at least a hundred books in a three or yeah, about three year period. And I, you know, I couldn't really notice the difference on a day to day basis, but like on a year to year basis, it was incredible. Um, and when I look back now, it's like, it's, I don't know, it's like I've got a couple college degrees, I could just, I can just, I just know so much more about the world, and surely a lot of that had to come from these books, because I haven't experienced that much stuff in the last three years, not enough to account for uh, the difference in consciousness that I experience now. So, I highly recommend hitting up your local Goodwill or your thrift shop and buying a bunch of books, get a bookshelf, stack them up high, even if you don't feel like reading right now, if you're really into Netflix or your new PS5 and you don't have time for books, that's fine. Just stack them up because, you know, on those rainy days when you are just got nothing to do and you lay down on the couch and you grab a book, you never know what, where that'll lead. And you have, who knows, you might end up getting on a roll and rolling right through that bookshelf and I promise you by the time you get through 10, 15 books, you're going to be like a completely different person. It's incredible. Uh, you can't get the same thing out of TV or YouTube or anything like that. Reading a book, it's like you, you, you absorb the words and it creates this world in your mind and your mind is capable of creating images that aren't just something visually that you see or that you hear, but it's like in your nervous system. You can feel it in your bones and your emotions and you can't get that any other way. Also, when you're reading something that somebody wrote, that's almost like they're, they're writing out what they think, their thoughts on things and you really just can't get that anywhere else. So it's 6.30, gotta go. Uh, be grateful that you can buy books at Goodwill for a dollar. Um, Try to do something nice for somebody today, and I'll see you on the next one.